In this video, I'm gonna show you how I stopped my slice by keeping this lead arm straight, putting me at a good top of the backswing position where I can come from the inside and hit nice, crispy, powerful golf shots. Let's do it. So I struggled with a slice for three years when I started golf, and this was a huge reason why, is I was bending my lead arm. I was bending it, but it was so subtle it was, in my mind, almost straight. It was almost straight, so uh, not much wrong with that. That's not gonna have, there's no way, you know, if it's a little bit bent, it's gonna have that much of an impact on the golf swing. Boy, was I wrong, very, very wrong. In fact, this is one of the top reasons I was slicing the golf ball, and it's all correlated this whole video series, this is video 18 of a 19 video series on exactly everything I did to stop my slice. But the reason I was bending my arm had to do with I wasn't turning properly and I wasn't setting up properly to the ball. And it actually made it almost impossible to keep my lead arm straight. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video is how to keep your lead arm straight and how that's gonna prevent a slice for you and how you can come from the inside because of it. So if I get into my old setup here and then take my old swing, you probably can't even see it. But let's take a look. You see this arm? I can straighten it. So this is where I was, I could straighten it. Because about half of the YouTube golf instruction, and if you didn't know this by now or you're a new person watching my channel, I'm a byproduct of probably 50,000 hours of just me watching and consuming all YouTube golf instruction. And now I teach the easiest possible way to hit a golf ball and it's what I use. So I just played yesterday with my buddy who'd played like 10 rounds of golf in the last three weeks. I hadn't played in three weeks. So you'd think he should destroy me, but instead I beat him by like eight holes because my swing method is just consistent where I literally, I didn't hit every fairway, but I hit 80% of fairways. And the two guys we got paired with were asking me if I played college golf and I was like, no, I'm just, driver's my good club, man. But as I was saying, about half YouTube golf instruction says, you know, if you have a little bend in that lead arm, it's fine. And then the other half says, no, you'll be much more consistent if you keep your lead arm straight. And that goes with everything in YouTube golf instruction is you could hear one piece of advice that says something. And then if you look it up on YouTube, you, you search up that same exact topic, you listen to another guy, maybe he has 500,000 subscribers, he might say the exact opposite thing. In fact, he probably will. So you're just constantly gonna get contradicting golf advice. And I'm, I'm here to tell you that having your lead arm straight will only yield positive results, and I wish I did it sooner. But in my head, I thought I couldn't have a straight lead arm because if I had a straight lead arm, I'd swing to here. That's why I told all my friends, I'm like, dude, if I keep my lead arm straight, this is as much of a turn as I can get. But it's the fact that, no, at 18 years old, I didn't lack mobility my senior year of high school golf. It was just that my turn wasn't good and I wasn't turning my hips. And that affected the fact that I couldn't keep my lead arm straight. Everyone watching this video can keep your lead arm straight. So let's see why that causes a slice now. So old swing and my arms raised up high. Now, if you've watched my videos, you know, high arms, high hands, if I just turn back to the ball, where does that club get? It gets outside my hands. We want it, whoop, back there, coming from the inside, more closely resembling down this target line. So instead of here, if I straighten my arm, so that turn, straighten my arm, now I'm gonna make the same exact turn, boom. That exact position I just said we wanted to get to, we got to, and all we did was straighten our arm. So now we know that keeping a straight arm is really gonna help us keep our arms low and this arm tucked in. And you probably know having a straight, this, this unit, keeping these elbows close together, keeping this arm straight, keeping this arm tucked in, having this unit is a really key just for consistent golf in general. It just keeps everything where you can just turn back and turn through and just hit good golf shots. But I felt like when I swing fast, there's just no way I can keep my lead arm straight. Like it just, boom, it just goes high and just bends. Like there's no way. There is a way. Let me show you. 
Try this drill right here. Get on your front foot and prop your back foot up. Now what this is going to allow you to do is that whole idea of getting a good turn, you're gonna do it. You're gonna get a good turn here and you're gonna see you can keep your lead arm straight. Now watch this. Easily. Let me swing as fast as I can. Straight. It's still dead straight because I'm turning enough. And if you are only getting a turn to here, your arms are gonna keep going and the arm's gonna bend and this elbow's gonna fly. So to keep all this, so to keep all this tucked in, where you can follow all these other YouTube golf tips, tuck the elbow in, keep the arm straight. To do that, you have to have a good turn. Otherwise, everything's gonna whoop, ooh, yaka. So you could even literally go to the range, if you watch this video, go to the range today, tomorrow, after work, or maybe you're retired, and swing, hit some shots on one leg. Just go back and through, and you'll notice just focus on keeping this arm straight. And you'll notice you're gonna start coming from the inside. And keep it low, pull it in, keep it low and swing around you. Don't lift, no lift, swing in and around and through. And you're gonna notice that slice is gonna disappear. Now, we wanna be able to replicate that same exact movement in the swing if we wanna be able to keep our lead arm straight, meaning we have to turn our hips enough. And so the key to doing that is this trail foot is gonna to need to be flared out enough for you to unlock your hips. So let's see, I'm gonna have my trail foot straight on. And let's see if I can keep my lead arm straight. No. All right, I'm gonna flare it out just a little bit. Almost, it's, it, it kind of bent just a little bit. All right, let's flare out the foot just a little bit more. Boom, I can keep it perfectly straight because I'm turning these hips. And so a good turn is the key to keeping your lead arm straight. So let's watch again, straight. So this is the 18th key for me to not slice the golf ball is to keep my lead arm straight. And you just learned how to do that in this video. You can also go back and watch video 11 of this 19 video series on how to stop your slice that I have on this YouTube channel. Go back and watch video 11 on how to get that proper turn. I go into much more detail on exactly how you need to do that as I just briefly covered it in this video. And you can go try that one drill and that'll get you on the right path. Just, if you're gonna do this drill, go okay. How much flared out and drop back does this foot need to be in my real swing to be able to replicate that feeling of connection and turning around you back and through where you can keep this arm straight. And that's really gonna vary depending on your mobility. But I hope you found some helpful tips in this video. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, as that would really help me out. I teach the single plane swing method of hitting a golf ball, as it is what I use, because I found that is the easiest way for me to hit great, consistent golf shots, and I think it will be for you too. So if you go over to manninggolf.com, in the description of this video, I have a full step-by-step -step course to learn the single plane swing method that you learned in this video on how to stop your slice and keep your lead arm straight. As keeping your lead arm straight is the fourth fundamental of only four fundamentals that I teach. That's how important it is to unlocking a consistent golf swing. You need to keep this arm straight and it's all intertwined of setting up properly, getting a good turn, it all relates. Getting a good turn, keeping your weight centered is relating to get a good turn, so you're staying over the ball, it all relates. So head over to manninggolf.com and check that out. But like I said, I hope you found some helpful tips in this video and I hope the rest of your day goes well.